wish there was something I could do to help you. Now, Haley is my problem. I'll take care of I'm things. I'm so sorry. She got tangled up with Will. Will's the one that's going to be sorry. He's going to be real sorry. Hey, Brooke, got to oh, run. I can't believe what I've been hearing. Believe? No, I've been out of town, and all of a sudden, it's like everything is blown up. What's going on? I'd be more than happy to catch you up. Over coffee, sure. would you? Thanks. Yeah. I mean... I can't lose Trevor. Not after all this. I, I won't lose him. I can't. No! You've got to help me. Oh, please help me. Craig, what is it? What's wrong? You think that catching you with your pants down is going to destroy her? I think she's much stronger than that, Craig. You have always suffered from delusions of grandeur. I can't. What? I can't lose you. You're the only woman I've ever really loved. Baby, you're not gonna lose me. <sighs> Anything to me. Anything. I thank God for letting me meet you. I oh, love you mean so much to me. I love you so much. I need you. I need you now more than I ever have. It was more wonderful. We truly are man and wife now, aren't we? You know, it, it's, it's not a lie to say that we're married. I feel so, so good next to you, so close. Do you? Do you feel it? Look, Anli, we just stop this, okay? Please? Well, you're not leaving now after we... Anli! Please. It's Haley. She's always there in your mind, isn't she? Listen, you guys, I have shopped, and I'm about to drop now, and I have more than enough stuff, and I thank you, but I gotta go, like, now. No, 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 you can't go home! What? Why can't I go home? Come on, take it. Two of the world's most bitter enemies uniting against poor me. Take the damn check and you won't be poor. I just want to make sure that this is perfectly clear. This is what you want me to do, right? Take it, Will, and get the hell out of Haley's life. That's one of the conditions of accepting the check. One. What are the others? That you leave Pine Valley, you go as far away as possible, and you never contact any of us as long as you live. As long as I live. Well, here's what I say to that gentleman. You can keep your money and spend it in hell. <laughs> children. Brought to you by Minute Maid. Join Minute Maid in supporting America's Olympic hopefuls. Something funny is going on here. Haley? Uh, oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> absolutely not, honey. We just want to make sure that you have got enough clothes for your cruise. Mm -mm. You don't want me to go home now. Why is that? 
Well, we told you we would like you to have a perfect cruise. This is not about my cruise wardrobe. There's something else. Like what, for heaven's sakes? Well, it's funny how Erica Kane, major CEO of a major megabucks company and all-around social whirlwind, just happens to drop into the local mall, bump into me and my mom, and offer to take us and foot the bill on my trousseau. Heartwarming though it may be, it is unlikely. Well, I am hardly a stranger. And I told you I was in the mall looking for spring clothes for Bianca. And then, oh my gosh, out of the clear blue, we should all go on a shopping spree? Well, I guess it was out of the blue, yes. Maybe not. Maybe you were sent here on a mission. What? Sent by whom? Daddy Warbucks from the office of Haley Control. Who else? Nonsense. Picture the headlines. Powermeister Adam Chandler sends wife on mission to stop heiress daughter from ruining life with Cortland Slime. Haley, for heaven's sakes, you sound a little paranoid. Think about this. How on earth could my buying you clothes be a plot? Then why don't you want me to go home? Why are you being so suspicious? I have been in your corner all this time. You weren't pro-will a few weeks ago, and now suddenly, suddenly everything's great. I should have a wonderful marriage and a wonderful time on my honeymoon cruise with my honey bun? Yes. That's amazing. Because it wasn't too long ago that you threatened to have him fired if he didn't leave me alone. And now all of a sudden, you love him? Everything's rosy? You know what I think, Erica? Everything's bogus. Well, I'll tell you something. Haley, you chose to marry Will. I'm so fine. I mean, my buying you a little cruise wardrobe, that's just my way of saying good luck, best wishes, I hope you have a wonderful life. Haley, remember me? I'm on your side. I'm the one who paid Will's bail money, for heaven's sakes. I would like everything to work out for you. A absolutely, m sweetie. I mean, if, if Will is what makes you happy, then, then he's got my vote. You're on my side? Of course I am, sweetie. I mean, I, you know, nothing's changed. Really? Look, have I, have, I, have I said one thing? Have I done one thing to make you think that I... I disapprove of Will. Well, no. no. Right. So what's the problem? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm tired. And I, I really need to get home, and I don't no. see why I shouldn't, unless there's some reason you think I shouldn't. <laughs> there's no reason that I could think of. <laughs> Myrtle? Myrtle, would you put this all on my account, please? I sure will. It'll take me a while to uh, tally this up. Oh, listen, no, um... I'm really in a rush to get home, so if you could just wrap all this stuff up and, and send it over to Will's apartment in the morning, because we're not leaving from New York until, like, late afternoon I'll or something. get it to you in time, darling, okay? Great. So, so I can go. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, Thanks, you're Myrtle. Welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, Have you a great honey. trip, honey. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Oh, let's just pray that Adam and Palmer have finished their business with Will and are gone. <laughs> you can't be serious. Save your little games. We're not upping the offer. No games. You're only after money. Here it is. Take it. It's a million dollars, Will. It's the same use as you'd get from Haley's trust fund. You're not stupid, Adam. Neither are you, Palmer. Certainly when you hear me say that I do not want the money, you can understand that I mean I do not want the money. We're not going to be suckered into raising the ante. For the last time, I'm not taking your check, so why don't you take it? Hey, Trevor, come in. Perfect timing. Now I only have to say this once. Say what? There'll be no buy-off. What are you talking buy-off? You know what a buy-off is. You know, like in the movies where the rich father pulls resources with a corrupt uncle to pay off the bad guy to get him to leave town. What the hell's going on here? Leave his beloved wife behind and swear that he'll never return, not in his life. We're offering to match what he'd get from Haley's trust fund. A million bucks? But it's not happening. I am not leaving my Haley. Why not? Why? We know you don't love her. A million is a million, Will. Why do you care where it came from? You'd still get what you wanted ever since you came into this town. You are so sure of everything. I know you are a greedy little snake. And you and you, you don't patronize me. You are perfectly willing to deal with me, to talk to me, when I can break Haley and Brian up, or how about when I can sabotage Palmer? 
That's a lie, Palmer. Oh, come on. He knows what you're capable of. Palmer's not above anything, right? He'll believe the lies of a complete stranger and disown his own nephew. Not that garbage again about Craig. It's the truth, and you're going to find that out. You are sick. And you're delusional. You'd rather have a, a, a criminal married to your niece, living under your roof, than accept the truth. Deluded. And not only do you not care what's happening to Dixie, you've also destroyed my relationship with her, the sister that I grew up with, the woman that I care about in this world. And you, Uncle Porkchop, what a support group you've been, huh? Locking me in jail like a depraved criminal. That's what you are, buddy boy. Nurse Marsh dropped the charges. I'm a free man. I'm free to pay you all back. Payback? Payback for what? How? Damn it, what are you planning? The most exquisite, prolonged revenge possible. You better not be talking about Haley. Bingo. Poor, innocent Haley. This is gonna be so sweet. Oh, am I? Am I? Why would you say that? Because I'm just going to be doing to her what you've been doing to me all along. Fair is fair, right? Now, she's my wife. She's my sweet young wife. And I can do whatever I want to, to her body or her mind. And I intend to. I'm going to use Haley. I'm going to use her, and I'm going to use her, and I'm going to use her. Well, somebody has to keep her in line. I think she's been drinking quite a bit lately. I think she's turning into a lush, just like her mother. A couple of weeks from now, she's not even going to know who she is. Poor kid. He's gonna have no ego. He's gonna have no confidence. He's gonna have no anything after I'm satisfied. She is so pretty and has such sweet young flesh. You stinking. But I will tire of her eventually. And then I will leave the broken young maiden in a drunken stupor in an alley somewhere. By then her money will be transferred to her loving husband's private account. Of course, if you still have your billion dollar check then, I'll let you buy her divorce. You're despicable. You know the great thing? There's nothing you can do to stop me. The hell there isn't. Come on, sweet young flesh. Come on, buddy boy. We'll smell that flesh. That's right. Yeah. Smell it, Pat. Smell it, Pat. Get out of the way. Smell it. Let him handle the scalp. No, Trevor, if you do this, he wins. Please tell me he didn't hurt you. Thank goodness I have you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But you wouldn't believe it, Haley. They were trying to buy me off. What? They offered me a million dollars to leave you. No. I turned them down. And Trevor attacked me. Haley, honey, that's lies. Stop believing him, please. Are you saying you didn't try to buy him off? God damn it, he's using you. And you're not? He married you for your money. He just told us that. He's going to ruin you. He wants to ruin you. No way. But he admitted it. He's using you for revenge, Haley. Paul! He'll say anything to turn you against me. He wants to hurt you, baby. He's gonna hurt you. Do you think that I am actually stupid enough to believe you? They just want you away from me, Haley. That's why you kept me out all afternoon. Both of you. You've been lying to me ever since you got back on your stupid furlough. You listen to me, Haley. As much as I love you and as much as I respect you, I have to stand by Adam and Palmer and Trevor in this. I believe that what they say happened, happened. You're just the same as both of them. As far as I want to protect you, yes. Yes, I am the same. She's right, baby. We just wanted to make sure that you were safe. You've got... He's no good. Will is dangerous. Do you hear me? Dangerous. I mean it for real. You destroy your life, sweetheart. You've got to leave him. No way! He admitted it, Haley. He's gonna chew you up and spit you out. He said it himself. There's no way I believe you. He's my flesh and blood. I tell you, he is rotten. Oh, he's gonna take you to hell with him. Get rid of him now. Baby, he doesn't love you. You deserve to be loved. You shut up. You stop that. I told you that they'd try to play with your head. Haley, don't you see it? Don't you see it yourself? He doesn't truly care for you. If Will cared for you, he, he would, would he never would be let throwing booze down your mouth. He's turning you into an alcoholic. Tinkerbell. Only you can make yourself.